Hi, I'm Amber. Follow along with me as I sew my way to a completely vintage inspired wardrobe. Hi guys, happy New Year's Eve. This week we're going to be doing something a little differently and I'm going to walk you through my project as I am cutting it out and sewing it together. So for New Year's Eve, I decided that I wanted to do a tulle skirt. And so here I am cutting out the tulle that I bought for it. It's just six yards of a glittery black tulle. And for the underskirt, I used a lining satin. And we'll get to that shortly. So here I am laying it out. And this is how I cut my circle skirt. Um, each piece is cut to 28 inches with an allowance for my waistline. So overall it's around 33 inches. You can see there is some variance in each piece and that's okay because it's going to get cut down. So I've already allowed for the waistline as I said and that was when I had the pieces folded in half and actually just did the five inch allowance for the waistline. So here I am cutting the circle portion and the best way I have found to do this is to take one of my measuring tapes and actually make a hole in the tape using a hole punch. And um, for the one end, I just stick it into a piece of cork. You can see I'm doing that now. And then I'm going to just be able to do the circle a lot easier than trying to measure each piece and put a pin in. And rather than doing that, I'm just gonna use my rot rotary cutter and just go around in a circle. And then if need be afterwards, you can always trim more if you've missed a spot or something didn't get cut through. So you can see it goes around pretty smoothly and it may take a couple of times to try it out if that's something that you want to do, but honestly, I think it's the easiest way to cut a circle out. So now that I have all of my pieces cut, I am going to go ahead and sew the side seams together. There are overall five pieces of tulle. So that would mean that there would be an uneven number of pieces in either the front or the back. So I just took one of those pieces away so that ultimately there would be two layers in the back and two layers in the front. And I sewed the side seams together here. This may not make sense right now, but later on you'll see where I just laid it over top of the, the skirt, that's the lining, and then made an allowance for the zipper. So while you are watching me sew up the side seams, I will tell you that one of the things I did off camera was to cut out the skirt pattern for the, the underskirt. And that was just out of the same pattern that I used to do my pencil skirt. So I did not do all of the steps with that since I have done that before, but you will see me sewing those sides together and then of course incorporating the tool over top. So 
So here I am serging the edges of my skirt. And as far as fabric is concerned, I used a lining satin, which is just, it's pretty much amounts to a costume satin. And the reason that I chose this fabric for this project is because I don't plan to wear this skirt a lot, maybe once a year. This may be the only time that I wear it. So I just didn't wanna invest too much into this. And the nice thing about the tool was that, um, well really tool in general isn't a very expensive fabric. So overall I'd say I spent about $10 making this skirt. So if you're just getting into sewing, that's something nice to know, especially if you just want to do some practice projects first before you start spending a lot of money on fabric, because of course fabric can get pretty expensive, that you can just buy pretty inexpensive fabrics, even in your local Walmart or um, I think Hobby Lobby still sells some fabric. You can just pick up something pretty cheaply so that you can do some practice projects before you go ahead and spend a lot of money on, on a nicer fabric. So here we are sewing the sides of the skirt together. And this is the same as any of the other pencil skirts. Okay, so here and the next step coming up, you're gonna notice that I kind of skipped ahead. So what I should have done was put the tool layer on, on top of the skirt and then add the waistband. So, uh, and, and what I ended up doing was putting the waistband on first. So you're gonna see where I had to go back and fix that. It's not a huge deal. And the nice thing is, is that I allowed for a pretty narrow margin as far as the seam allowance on this. So just adding a little bit more to the seam allowance made that it was an easy fix for me. So here I am adding the tool layer and just doing a very narrow edge stitch right along the line of where I put the waistband in. And then I'm just gonna go back over top of the waistband and just match up to the line of stitching 
that I just added in there so that you're not going to be able to see that I added the tool on after the fact. And if that doesn't make sense, what I just said, basically what we're concerned about is making it look clean. Now I'm gonna add in a zipper. I've done my zippers a bunch of different ways and so far this is the best one that I have found that works for me. And basically what I'm doing is I'm going along the seam allowance there. Now we're just stitching down the waistband and essentially it's going to be finished after this. Off camera, I did the hemming of the underskirt and that's just pretty basic, so I didn't feel like I needed to film that. All right, we're coming to the end here, and you're gonna be able to see the finished product. It was pretty windy when I put this on, but hopefully you can tell that there's a couple layers there and it's kind of sparkly. <laughs> Hope you liked the video, and please go ahead, hit the like and the subscribe button so that you can see every week when I post new content.